Hey folks, I'm meteorologist Matt Barrington. We've gotten an update on this tropical system that is right now over Cuba is now being called potential tropical cycle number four. It's a big mouthful just to say that they anticipate it becoming a tropical depression here before too long. So that's just the, uh, they get out ahead of it by calling it a potential tropical cyclone. But this will become tropical depression here before the day is out. And uh, it just helps them to put out the information in the watches and warnings and all that kind of stuff. And that's why they do that. So for the National Hurricane Center, there it is. Winds at 30 miles an hour. Obviously really weak at this point, moving to the west northwest at 16. Of course, the all important track. Where is this thing going? It's going to work its way out over the um, Florida Straits uh, by tomorrow morning. That's when it will begin to really develop. And then eventually it'll become Tropical Storm Debbie once it works its way into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Expect to stay a tropical storm as it makes a landfall somewhere along the western coast of Florida. Then it's expected to cross Florida somewhere around the Gainesville, Jacksonville area and then work its way up the east coast into the Carolinas. Now, really critical here, where exactly does it go if it stays on land up the Carolinas that's actually the best case scenario a lot of rain but it stays weak if it tracks out into the Atlantic over the uh, Gulf Stream which is just off the coast there of the Carolinas the water temperature there 90 degrees in the Gulf Stream it will fire this storm up into a much more powerful storm so that's going to be super critical so that's really the big question mark here in the long range now as far as we're concerned down here on our part of the Gulf Coast we are not seeing direct impacts from this. The only impacts that we'll see is it'll get choppier in the Gulf. So we'll see some rip current risks going up, that sort of thing, some surf going up, that sort of thing. But we're not going to get direct impacts, not even really going to get much rain out of this. Most of the rain will stay well off to our east with this storm. You'll see that on the future cast here. This is the European models. We go through the weekend. You can see it working its way up the west coast of Florida. Very little rain in our area because we're on the dry side of the system. It crosses around Jacksonville continues to work its way up through the Carolinas. And once again, how far offshore it goes is extremely critical to the eventual strength of this system. If it goes off far enough, it'll become a very powerful storm. And then the Carolinas could see another landfall up there in North Carolina, which would be very obviously devastating if it's strong enough. So a lot to still be going through, a lot of question marks still. Uh, but for us, once again, we're on the outside looking in. We don't anticipate direct impacts from this system in our area. For us, we're just going to continue to be extremely hot. We're another another heat advisory today. Our temperatures upper 90s to around 100 degrees this afternoon. Heat index values easily up to around 112. So just do your best to stay cool. It's going to be very, very hot in the coming days. Uh, it continues to be very hot for us today. Once again, we can see triple digits. That's before we even add in the heat index, upper 90s and other spots. Very hot through the afternoon. Do your best to stay cool and not let that heat get to you. Here's how it looks over your next seven days. You can see that basically similar over the weekend. We do dial things back a little bit with the temperatures because we have slightly better rain chances. Looking into next week, yeah, it'll continue to be hot and humid with uh, very uh, with some scattered showers and storms, but you don't see huge rain chances. Once again, that's because we do not anticipate direct impacts from that tropical system.